Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Hey, today we're, I'm starting on another little project out here. I have a Grizzly G0769 little combo milling machine and lathe, and it, it's okay. The lathe is nice. I, you know, for what I do, it's good enough. But the, the milling attachment on it, it sucks. The, the column and the head is passable, but it's just got so much give to it and you know, basically they took a cheap Chinese lathe, bolted a bracket to it with four little old bolts, stuck it out that far, and then put a milling head on it. And everything's got a little bit of flex to it. So anyway, I'm building a base to uh, just an XY table. And, uh, you know, I've watched a couple of videos, some poor guy down in the Philippines or somewhere wearing flip-flops on a dirt floor made something like this and it worked and I was impressed. You know, if some poor old boy down in the Philippines wearing flip-flops and dirt can can build this, I guess a dumb hillbilly in a nice shop can can build the same thing. Now, when I get everything done, I'm going to take and have this milled flat uh, after I'm done, after I'm done drilling holes in it, after I get everything lined up, everything's kind of working right, then I'm going to have it all decked off flat. Because as careful as I was to keep everything straight when I was doing my welding, you know, it's moved some. There's a there's about a five thousandths bow down in two foot here, and there's about a one thousandth bow up in two foot here. So... And as far as I can tell, there is no twist this way. But I haven't sat down with a precision level and, or an auto columnator and all that crap. I've not done that, and I'm not going to do that until the time comes. There's just no sense in doing that. Eventually, I'm going to put little feet, screw adjustable feet on the four corners to where I can uh, bolt it down in the middle and then... If it gets a tweaky to it, then I can de-tweak it a little bit. Uh, honestly, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. Uh, this thing's built heavy. I didn't even weigh it. This is two by two quarter wall tubing. Uh, it's 32 inches long. This is three quarters thick through here. This is actually two pieces of three eighths because I can't read a tape measure. Uh, <clears throat> so there's two pieces of three eighths by inch and a half through here. And it's all welded up good. Uh, this pad here is where the column will mount. This is one inch thick steel here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take cheap Chinese linear rail. Something like that. A little bit of play. Now this plate here, and of course my, this travel here will attach to this plate and then we'll have more attached to this plate and coming up to the bottom of this. Um, I'm still working on how I'm going to get all of this stuff to, to work out right. You know, it is what it is. I'm just kind of doing it a piece at a time and, you know, eventually I'll get there. Now, everything is, is you know, there is nothing such as flat on this so far. But you kind of get the idea. I'll be making a series of short videos on this. I'm going to try to do like a little show and tell when I get to a stopping spot every time, rather than try to make one long video and then edit it and all that crap. I'm, I don't like editing. So anyway, if you all got any questions, ask them in the doobly-doo and we'll go from there. Let's see, yeah, this is, uh, this is three eighths plate here and this is three quarter plate here and this will be my work surface. So I'm going to end up with a about a 
something like a six by 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half work surface, uh, which is, you know, my effective working area on, on the machine as it sits is about the size of a deck of cards. And it just, I can't do much with it. So anyway, six by 16 will get me, you know, a factor of 10 more, you know, 10 times the effective working surface. So this is good enough for the girls we go with. It'd be plenty big for what I can tear up in my little shop. And uh, I can't really devote any more space to something like this. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Check back later. I will have progress on this. Thanks a lot. Y'all drive safe. Watch for deer.